Hi, welcome to this uh, sixth video tutorial of our series. And today we are going to modify one additional constraint that is uh, the video track frame. So we are going to modify the video frame rate. So how to do that? Uh, before moving into that, we are going to. I will show you what we did before. So before we have, I've shown you how you could uh, do all this stuff here, like requesting the permission. You can see when we request the permissions, we have this video access here. But normally, in uh, other browsers, or I have already requested this one many times, it's already safe in the cookies. But the first time we request this one, we are going to get a pop-up windows requesting you to access or to uh, deny the access from video and microphone. So this one is done. And then next thing we can attach our video. This is our video which is attached. And then if we scroll down here and go into uh, the console, clear everything here in the console and just try to minimize this one a bit and scroll down to these options that I show uh, in the previous video, show uh, capabilities constraints. And then we can see that for the tracks, we have a uh, different constraint that we can uh, modify programmatically. And uh, I will show you how to modify this one, the frame rate. You can see here the maximum is 30 and the minimum is zero. So now, how to do this one programmatically, reducing this uh, frame rate and see how it's impacting our video. Uh, in order to do that, uh, we'll go back to our projects. And uh, yeah, if you haven't watched, you can download uh, the previous versions of uh, these uh, projects in the, my repository. It is uh, under the descriptions, under the video, in the description under the YouTube video of each episode. And uh, we continue with this one. In order to do that, uh, you have to, you have to, you'll have to add, uh, I will stop uh, this video for now to avoid interferences. And uh, yeah. Let's go back to the code. And then we have to add one additional service. And then if you have, we go in our media service here, we have this one for modifying the video size. And then if you go down now, so let's just modify, uh, modify the video track frame rate. So that's what we are going to do here and we are, yeah, quickly we uh, create one method, modify video track frame rate and then inside that one we are going to pass uh, one variable called uh, frame rate of type uh, number and then our method here should return a boolean. And uh, yeah, that is it. So then uh, on top here, we have declared the stream. So remember everything is from the stream re uh, returned by the get user media. So this is, uh, as you can see here, this navigator represent the top objects, like top objects here uh from the browser so you can see this one as a browser we go to the browser we get uh, the devices and then yeah we get all the user media using we applying this method here to the media devices then and the constraint we can return the stream so is that stream this is the stream here now if we go down here to uh we go down here and uh, try to check if this stream media no stream is there right we check if it is there then 
cost video track. So we try first try to get uh, the video track because we only have one camera. So we have only one camera, which is the webcam. So we get uh, not the audio, but the video tracks. And then using this one now, we are going to uh, apply this one to get the first uh, element, which is our webcam from the laptop camera. So then the second thing here is going to be the capabilities and then the capabilities we take it from the video track and then get capabilities of course. So we get that one here. By now we should be familiar with how to retrieve uh, the capabilities. And then now if we try to check now uh, we can see uh, different uh, properties now, like sample, uh, sample rate, sample size, height, facing modes, and channel counts, and many things, aspect ratio. So now we try to check the film rate. And so then video track, we try to apply some constraints now and in this constraint now we are going to define the frame rate so we set this one to ideal so if we enter something that is more then you will going to take the ideal one so that is it and Uh, that is it and then on that one is done we can return true otherwise we are going to return false we return false so uh, Oh, this one, I didn't, it was if here. Sorry, what happened? So it's if now. So with this one here, our, our service is ready. Our service is ready now. Now uh, what we need to do is to go uh, to our app component and get reference to our service. So now, um, so here, modify, uh, modify the video track frame rate again. And then here we have modify, uh, we define our Method video track frame frame rate. Now we take no arguments and then now const success. So this uh, media service and then modify a video frame this now okay we need to pass uh, our desired uh, we need to pass our desired uh, frame rate so for that one we'll need to come here and define uh, one new variables attributes here called video frame rate. This is video frame rate. And then number is equal to maximum as default. Then once this one is done, 
we can come uh, down we can come now and use it here this just pass it now if it is successful if successful then let's just lock something in the console lock here with this uh, careful here this is uh, uh, the forward uh, slash special symbol here not the single code yeah so now drag frame rate modify to I will pass this one here modify to this video no video frame rate FPS frame per second frame uh, per second so else then if not we can just uh, simply say that unable to modify the track frame rates that one here then everything is okay now but the last thing that we need to do is to come here and add a new button and then in order to do that we go now to our view and then uh, this one is there and show capabilities is another button and then below here right below here you are going to add a I'm not going to type here to here to save time here so we have our new div here with a label and then the label here is frame rate title here is modify frame rate and then here we have one input uh, input field that we attach here to uh, video frame rate var uh, attribute that we define in the components and then we have uh, the minimum and the maximum uh, minimum and the maximums here so yeah we leave it to that one first and then yeah then we have uh, the button here which is already attached to our last uh, uh, method that we created here so this one should uh, already be that and then if we save it we have no error here and if we refresh this one then we got uh, this one and now if we yeah so we request uh, this one and attach the video so this is what we get now the video is faster and more clearer I can see it then now uh, if we come here and change this one to two we can see that the frame rate has been changed to two uh, frames per second and the video is a bit slower I I can I move very fast here my head but it's moving uh, very slow you can see slow movements it's no more coordinated with uh, real life movement uh, 
yeah and the video of is not yeah that much clearer now so yeah that is it and uh, yeah we can show the capabilities again and uh, the current uh, one is not uh, really shown here but this one is only here the maximum and the minimum which is fixed yeah it's not uh, reflected or maybe somewhere else but whatever we have that one here uh, this uh, relate that uh, we change so yeah I hope the, that is sufficient. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.